Morning, boys. Boop. Boop. Oh, I'll give the people a boop. They're upset that I'm bringing snacks outside. That's boot wet. Morning, everybody. I'm back. I say I'm back. I don't know if you know that I was gone, but uh, we went to Indiana, like uh, we talked about in previous videos. My son and I saw some drag racing to a Cletus McFarland event out there. Oval racing, drag racing, burnouts. Great time. Absolutely great time. If you ever get a chance to go to one of his events, I strongly recommend it. Great fireworks shows. Events all day. You get to meet everybody in person. Got to meet some YouTubers out there. Which is cool. Uh, Demolition Ranch is there. Matt. Uh, racing, actually. And doing burnouts. In his own car. Pretty neat. All right, got some chicken. Just got some. I got some special stuff for the piggies because they haven't seen me in a little while. Oh yeah, how's my Brewster? Poppy Dink. Here's Brewster. Yo, yo, good boy. Oh, bless you. That's a chicken sneeze. Yep, oh, bless you again. Now why you're sneezing so much? I know you're not allergic to worms. Oh, he's my piggies. There's my piggies. Oh, he's my piggies. Oh, the flies have gotten worse. Oh, he's here for buddy. Hi. You guys want egg? Oh, yeah. Here you go, Mikey. Oh, it's right there on the ground, Mikey. He missed it. Oh, God. Hi. There's my socks. Oh, I must be a big boy. Oh, I must be a big boy. Yo, he's a good boy. It's my hand. Yeah, it's my hand, you cute little guy. Okay, you want another one? The girls didn't get up, so don't step on her feet. Oh, there you go, sweetie. It's behind your leg. Okay, here we go. Some caramel corn from our trip. Had some of the, some of the bag left over. Oh, it's my girl. Oh, give you a, oh yeah, that's the blueberry down there. Come here, socks. You're encroaching on blueberry's face. Yeah. It's okay. The little guys will pick up the rest. Little guys will pick up the rest. Um, so a change you might notice is that we're, uh, we're short some piggies. Uh, we have Sherman and Mikey here still. Obviously our big guys. The other, uh, we get some piggies down the road. Uh, if, if you're, if you're on my property, it's that way, about four properties at our friend Matt and Lisa's. Um, they have raised pigs before. Uh, in fact, they started before we did. What are you doing? You don't want any more popcorn? Fine, don't eat the popcorn. The big eat the little guys love the popcorn. Um, and they are going to be clearing a garden. And if you have been watching my channel, you know that we got another pig, Tinkerbell. Um, Tinkerbell is a different breed. Um, that we're going to be raising as a breeder uh, to give better, better, well, a different type of pork, I guess is what we would call it. Uh, I'll let Jen do a video about uh, the whole rundown of that because she's the one who researched it. She's the expert. She's the one who bought Tinkerbell. She's the one who brought her home. I just came back and she was here. Well, all right, she's not here, but she's hanging out with Welter down the street. So Welter has a nice little girlfriend to hang out with now while they clear a garden. How is my moist mudgy dodgy? Oh, I gotta pay scratchy tax. I'll pay a scratchy tax from a big boy. 
from my big, oh, oh, hi, yeah, okay, that was a good spot, yep, all right, all right, oh, he just leaned right into me, and I can't really tell that on the camera, but holy cow, holy cow, big boy, all right, don't surprise me like that, yeah, don't surprise me like that, that was a, a little abrupt with the weight transfer, it's a lot of weight, how oh, is my little blueberry? How oh, is my blueberry? Oh, he's a blueberry. He's tired. You little snook. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. The people want to see blueberry. Here. Hey. People want to see blueberry. And smudge. Smudgy dudgy. Mikey, get out of the frame. Oh, he's a good girl. He's a good girl. He's a good girl. What is going on? Serve in the tank. Serve in the tank. Alright, they seem to be pretty tired. So, we're going to go over here. All oh, the flies are out. The flies are out. You can't stop them. It's a, it's a phase here in New Hampshire. Um, the chickens will ravage the fly larvae and keep it down. Uh, e even if we didn't have the pigs, um, it's probably a little bit more in this area because of the food uh, concentration. But even if we didn't have the piggies, uh, there's a giant swamp back there. Not on my property, but there's a huge flat swamp that turns into a small pond uh, by a big camping area. Uh, there's actually a RV camping area and adjacent to it a YMCA camp And that swamp Makes more flies than The pig mud ever could so it's Seems like a lot, but it's not it's not they'll just be everywhere For another month or so the May flies as they call it It being May all right, I'm gonna put some food in that trough. Not a lot, because we got a couple less piggies here. Got a couple less piggies. Uh, we are actually supplying the food uh, for the pigs as well, while they're at our neighbor, so. Actually going to pick up another sack at some point. Uh, probably sometime. Oh God, I have some work for my other job, so my CNC business is very busy right now. Probably going to pick it up in next week. Uh, Matt and Lisa also have a trough, or not a trough, a uh, white big white bin, and we will fill their big white bin with a thousand pound bag. Uh, which will last for quite a long time over there with just the two little guys and whatever whatever they don't eat while we're over there I can drive it back I can I can pick up the whole bin that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring their bin to my house uh, probably in the back of the truck because it's empty fill it here and I can just drive it down the road with the tractor because it's only it's only a few houses down Okay, uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do three scoops. We're gonna do three scoops because they don't seem very interested in food. And we'll see what that looks like this evening. If it's empty, we'll give them four scoops. I don't think they're gonna need four scoops, me and two pig shorter. A little feeding is a little calmer with only two little ones. That'll change. That'll change when we have more little ones. Uh, we had a. Oh, I mean, she's not really a neighbor. She's not. Oh, I want you guys again. I don't, know, I don't know what you can see there. Um, she lives down the road. Sister Maria. She's a nun. Uh, she raises pigs. 
uh, and has been for years. She is quite knowledgeable. Very nice. Very nice lady. She came over, gave us a little pregnancy check. Uh, so we think, uh, think that blueberry is probably a third to halfway along. And uh, unsure on smudge where she's at because she's a little a little more muscular it's a little hard to tell how I could and I will eventually buy an ultrasound machine to you know actually be able to look but they're like 1500 bucks so <sighs> someday you know we're gonna work on some merch we got some merch for this channel yeah my daughter and uh, my son Dean's girlfriend Nina who, uh, who's actually been on uh, you've seen her on video building uh, she was on the time-lapse of building the uh, greenhouse uh, they're both artists and gave him some ideas for some shirts, I don't remember if I've said that I said this on the channel before. Uh, but we're gonna do we're gonna do some shirts and maybe hats. I, don't, I might might start with hats because for hats I don't have to have. Sorry, sorry, blobs. Uh, for hats, I obviously uh, a little you know fewer fewer numbers, sizes, types. If I do shirts first, I don't know what happened here. We got a leash out here. My mom, Jen took, took somebody for a walk in a harness. It's possible she did have a harness for Walter walking around. Right. Help that out. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do like a like a boop tax. Boop tax, boop it. Probably scratchy tax. Yeah, scratchy tax and a don't touch the fence. My favorite sayings. Don't touch the fence. Don't touch the fence. <laughs> Everybody's awake now because dad's filling the water. This is the most exciting thing that's going to happen today. Hey, go, it's Mudgy Dudgy. She's like, yeah, dad, fill this water so I can drink it. That's what she does. She's like, oh, yeah. Good water, dad. Good water. Oh, look at those flies. They're everywhere. I don't really, oh, I gotta get that, I gotta pull that out. I gotta pull that down. We'll do that. We're gonna pull that little hockey puck thing down. Uh, as soon as we're done. Well, when I, when I put the bin in there, I'll hop in there and take it down. That's our winter de-icer. Just hangs in the bottom and puts a little bit of heat in there, which creates a little convection current if you hang it at the bottom. And keeps, you know, it mostly ice free. I mean, it's, we, we have lots of single digit nights and sometimes negative nights. So it went when it's like that. Oh, look, oh, we got, there we go. There's a video of them drinking out of the big water bowl. Talk about it all the time and nobody ever does it on camera. There's a rock right there that Mikey was standing on and they just put their little hooves over the top and take a drink. Oh, he's over there taking off a big tinky. Oh, socks, don't, don't do that, socks. Checking out how pregnant she is. Everybody's awake now because we're filling the water. Yeah. You gonna have some water, socks? My big boy. Socks probably gotta lose some weight. He's, he's the monster. He's a little too too much of a sausage. I gotta contrive some uh, some protected hut for the little guys that can, little guys can get under that he can't walk into. Uh, that's big enough that he can't flip it over, which is the main problem. So we'll see. I gotta come in here and trim these stumps. On my to-do list. All right, I finished the farrowing house. <laughs> All right, that one's kind of full. That one's kind of full. 
Boy, he's all got Sherm in our tank. Shermy. Shermy the tank. Yeah, you guys put you guys that was full yesterday and you guys put it down there along with most of this bin. That's what they do. They take their noses and they slosh the water out. So they can lay in it to keep themselves cool. That's that's why that's why pigs make buttholes. It's because they can't sweat enough to uh, control their internal temperature, which is higher than humans. So, uh, in order to keep themselves cool uh, during warm days, they dig down into the cooler ground and will lay in it. And then, when that's not enough, they will find water and make a little make a little mud spot to lay down in and soak the heat away from them. So. Oh, I said I was going to move that puck over stand here. A little water side chat. I don't know why there's so, there's so much stuff around here. What's even, what's even going on? I got, a, I got a towel in here. I don't, I don't know what that's for. If I, ha if I had to guess, if I had to guess what was happening here, uh, when they got the two little ones to go into the trailer, they probably put the towel over his head. Um, because if you put a towel over, if you, if you like put a towel or a bucket over a pig's head, uh, they will try and back away from it. So you can like steer them, uh, backwards, but you can steer them. So my guess would be they steered the little ones on. And then once she got them on, cause the trailer, they drove the trailer back with the quad. She probably hung it on there and then the piggy grabbed it from the fence. That's my detective work during our waterside detective, uh, detective, uh, scene. All right, what do we got here? I did a good job attaching this. Uh, not the ideal way to do it, but, um, as I said before in other videos, I have to run power out here. And I'm gonna relocate that wall. How much stuff is gonna move when we do that? Um, but this did the job. This did the job. Uh, this is not a big heater. I think this one's actually only 50 watts. And 50 watts was enough to do all but the coldest days. And they can break through the ice. I come out and chip the ice in the morning, but they can also break the ice when the ice is over. I'm gonna have to take care of that. All right, here's what we're gonna do for you guys. For your guys' sake, we're just gonna put that down. We're just gonna put that down. It's disconnected. Uh, uh, another thing we're not gonna need is this extension cord, which I think I stapled in here. Who's in here? Oh, just you two. Okay, that's good. Cause I don't want Smudgy Dudge to yell at me. Um, it's this it's this turned off now, but there was a heat lamp here. That's what that cord is. It's a heat lamp for the piglets when they were super little in the middle of winter. Um, and then I just take two screws like that. It's removable. <laughs> wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Bite the cord. Don't bite the cord. All right. Yeah. Then maybe people will stop asking me why there's an extension cord going into your hut. It's because we need power in there, obviously, but you know. Can we pull over there? Pull over there yet? Nope. Okay. Just so make sure we're not spilling on the ground. This is the fun part. Okay, this is an OSHA approved tree. Certified. <laughs> there we go. There's a little, there's a little, hey, quip out my boots. <laughs> Sorry, bloops. I got you. 
Wait, you rubbing your bum on my leg? I'll give you a scratchy if you want a scratchy. Got bum rub. Yeah. Yeah, go scratchy. He's a cheek scratcher. He loves his cheek scratched. Yeah, that's what you are. You're a cheek scratcher. All right. This is good. Just in time for that water to be done. Okay. Hi, sweetie. Yeah. Oh, my girl. Oh, my girl. You have more go in my bath? She's like, yes, Dad, I am. Thank you for asking. Okay. Uh, we can throw that over there. Scared of chickens. Oh, he's my girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. you have a good nap when you're a well mud home. Boop. Oh, it's a good girl. All right, that's gonna overflow. I'm gonna have to bring the cart down here, which is fine, because as you guys know, I have my little garbage pile over there that I normally pick up once a month or so. Well, then we gotta get back to work, guys. Uh, not, not this, not this channel work. Not that I don't need to edit some video for you guys, but uh, I got a lot of CNC work. In fact, we did a job on the way home from vacation. Oh, and somebody stole the plate off my trailer in Pennsylvania. That was awesome. So, I have to report that to the state police. So I wouldn't, well, so that if I did get pulled over on the way home, because, you know, there's no plate on my trailer. And I wasn't just making up stories. It's the second time I've had the trailer plate stolen. I think it's vandalized. I'm, I'm using the word stolen because it was completely missing. But what I think is actually happening is I think people are trying to steal tools out of my trailer. And when they realize that the trailer is locked and they can't get into it, they're just vandalizing the trailer. That's what I think is happening. Sometimes we're not staying in the nicest areas, shall we say, um, at some of the industrial sites we do work at. Uh, this was overnight, to be clear. It, wasn't, it didn't happen at one of my customers, but... Stopped. For dinner, came out, not overnight, I said overnight, but it was at night, that's what I meant to say. We stopped, had dinner uh, at a fairly busy restaurant, came out in the parking lot, and my plate was gone. And I know it didn't just fall off, because it was attached to a piece of 8th inch aluminum, sandwiched between another piece of 8th inch aluminum, because I had my plate ripped off before. And I know it was there before we went in. Or at least I know it was there the, the stop before, so. I don't recall it being gone. I look at the trailer every time I stop. This is a business trailer. I don't want to get in an accident. I have my business liable for some dumb accident. I can find if I just keep an eye on my trailer. But the whole bracket was broken off. It said the bracket didn't fall off. It's broken in half. Like somebody took it and wrenched it back and forth to snap it off because they were mad they couldn't steal the sh stuff out of my trailer. Almost had a bad word. So, now I need to get a new plate again. Which is awesome because everybody loves dealing with the DMV. Oh, let's check for some Aggies. Check for some Aggies. I'll clean up that cord after I put you guys away later. I don't think you guys need to watch me do all the chores around here. I bet there's some chores you'd like to see me do. I bet I walk around and you go, Kevin, why don't you do that? Why don't you clean that thing up? You're not wrong. There's a lot of stuff to be done. But like I said, I got a couple. Oh boy, it's busy in here. Okay. Is, is everybody in here sitting on eggs? It, it's okay if you are. Okay, fine. If you are, it's fine. I'm just checking. 
hoping to get some little ch chickadees out of there at some point. Hey, Brewster. Yeah, I'm just checking on the girls, Brewsty. Don't worry about it. Let's see if there's any eggs in the ground here. No. <laughs> Do you see the guys see the three chickens right there in the middle? There's three chickens. Speckles. Speckles is the white chicken. She probably got kicked out of Arsenio, who's on the right over there. Uh, Bert is in the middle. Uh, Backup Raven is in the back there. And then we got, uh, I haven't named that chicken over on the left there. The bird is like, get off of me. <laughs> oh my goodness. But the one in the corner will lay an egg, probably. Speckles will move back to the other side. Door is my favorite. Dice, my little cotton eye Jill. Floofing her little bum bum around. Some reds. Uh, this is original Raven. Uh, she's not gonna be here very long because I caught her. Well, I didn't catch her. Jen caught her eating eggs yesterday. So, I had a discussion before that uh, we don't we don't let that go on, shall we say, in a nice way. I don't know if there's eggs out here yet. Nope, Jen got the ones yesterday. So we can check just a little hut and see if anybody's laid an egg early this morning. Probably not. Yeah, don't uh, don't let the chickens eat eggs. Stay around because what happens is the other the other chickens see them eating the eggs, and then it becomes a learned behavior. You see, Jen moves some stuff out to. A house from the inside. I don't see any eggs in there. I'm not going to disturb them. Somebody's sitting in that right box. Probably, probably can't see that, but I can. Let's just take a little peek in here, shall we? Oh, yeah. Throwing some little lettuce. You got some tomatoes. These are peppers, I believe. Some stuff over there. I still have some cleanup doing here. Um, we're having some raised garden beds made. Uh, for growing those a little bit bigger before they go out in the garden. I'm probably going to make an in the ground bed in there for just a mix, a small mixture of stuff that gets protected. That's mama. We call that chicken mama because she is a super mom. All right, guys, I got to go, uh, got to go do some stuff. I got to go write some reports for the CNC job I did, which is super, super fun. Uh, give me, uh, Give me a comment. I wanna, I wanna know what you want to see more of, less of. Uh, I do plan on doing some solar videos. Uh, probably gonna do some food storage videos. Obviously, we'll continue the chicken and pig feeding because people seem to like that. But yeah, let me know. Thanks for hanging out.